Today we're in Buckeye, Arizona to visit Stephanie Ferris, who makes sure thousands of acres of lettuce get to the store shelves. Before the lettuce gets to the store, they have to grow and harvest it, which is quite the process. And thankfully, they don't have to do it by hand. We have made our way out into the field for harvest, so Stephanie, tell me a little bit about what's going on here. So we're harvesting baby leaf lettuces right now. That's one of our harvesters. You can see a blade on the front um, that's cutting the leaves just above the dirt level on the beds. And it's kicking all of that product up and we have packers that are on the back of there. They're packing um, the material down into those totes. They're coming off and getting stacked on to the trailer that's there. And then that trailer also has empties on it. So at that same time, they're feeding empties onto the harvester. Okay. And then we have stackers who are stacking it up. Okay. And it's then a super we... efficient process. There's lettuce flying everywhere. Yes, there is. Uh, but there's a lot of it going right where it needs to go too, huh? Yes, it is. Um, we've done the calculations on it and we estimate that there's probably anywhere from seven to 8% product loss um, just from spillage. I mean, as you can see, it's a really fast process. Yeah. They just lifted up the blade there. Um, but we're improving it year after year yeah. to try and get less waste. But it's still mechanized, right? Yes. Like it's not, it's not yes. hand harvesting. So. Oh yeah. You can do a million pounds a week hand no. harvesting. A million <laughs> pounds a week yeah. is so much greens. I mean, like if you think about like how much just one of those totes weighs, right? Like it's yes. just, an, 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 I can't even fathom it. You figure your bag salad that you buy in a store is usually six to nine ounces. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Like so, I can't even do the math. Like I, I without a calculator, yeah. <laughs> how many bags of lettuce that is from the grocery store? But. A million pounds a week is our average. We do have times that we hit two, two point two million in a week on the really heavy weeks, usually before holiday pulls. So that's crazy. Yeah. That is a lot of greens for sure. The greens from Duncan Family Farms are shipped across North America and over to the United Kingdom. Stephanie takes me to the cooler to talk about data. Tell me a little bit about the role that this data plays in helping this farm be productive and successful. This data is huge. So what you see right here where they're weighing the product, that data is going into our farm management software. It's telling us how much yield we got out of those sets we planted. And that's so important, not only because that's what you're selling and that's your cost of goods sold that's being allocated on that, but it's also our driver for next year when we go to plant. So we're looking at year over year analysis of our yields and within the certain weather time frames and times of the year as weather patterns change. And we're deciding how much to plant based on that projected yield that we've been hitting. So if you overplant or underplant, you're not meeting your customer needs. And with those 28 day windows we have, that's a really important part. So just that scale operating that seems like it's such a, you know, basic operation is such an integral part of what we do and how we plan for the future. Yeah, painful at first, but, yes. uh, but efficient now, right? Absolutely. Follow the greens from field to cooler and learn the unique process along the way. 